everyone. Uh, here we are on the range at Fugles Golf Club today, uh, and we're going. This is basically a beginner's guide to pitching. So we've got this video is on behalf of one of the members of Fugles Golf Club, one of the senior members. He's, he asked, he asked me today, um, would you be able to do a video on pitching? So how the setup influences the way you strike the golf ball. So this will give you things to work on to improve your golf striking. So when you set up to the golf ball with a, a shorter shot. Just think, the shorter, shorter the shot, the closer the stance to the ball and the more narrower. The further the, further the shot, the longer the shot, sorry, the further away you want to stand and the wider the stance. So I have a narrow stance. That allows me, that discourages any sudden weight shift or any big weight shifts. So what I want to do is put my weight on my left foot. What that allows me to do is hit down on the golf ball. So we're hitting down the golf ball which will create a descending blow which will enable you to create more spin. The other thing you, you want to work on is just try and feel like you're swinging a lot smoother. So that's one thing to think about. Another thing is um, when you're because it's not such a, a full shot, um, we want to give our, our body time to get out of the way so we can make a full turn through the golf ball. So what we need to do is when you set up to the golf ball, instead of aiming square, which a lot of people tend to do. I like to aim a little bit op a little bit to the left, a little bit open. What this allows me to do is it allows me to turn through the golf ball. It gives my body time. If I'm making an error on the downswing, I've got time to turn out of the way. So if I was in if I was in the square, I wouldn't be allowed. To, it's quite hard to turn turn my hips out of the way first. So if my body's open, it sort of presets your lower body and it turns through the golf ball and create that good strike. So almost like this, so narrow stance. Ball, ball position you want to kind of keep constantly, I just kind of keep it in the middle of the stance. It's a bit more predictable, or create a bit more predictable strike. Weight left, hit, hit down on it a bit more, and you get a spinning shot. Hopefully anyway. Um, that's, thing, and that's one thing. The other thing we're going to talk about is quitting on the ball, or quitting on the shot. So what tends to happen is, probably, the, probably one of the most common faults related to chipping, or pitching, or full shot, what we call it, um, is when people hit the ground before the golf ball. What 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 plagues this is generally when people set up to the golf ball, they they take too long a backswing. So as they come into impact, they shorten the follow through. So almost in this fashion, so long backswing and then they stop. It should be the other way about. Your follow through should be longer than your backswing because all that end, you want all that you want the quickest part of your swing to be just before the ball or, or just slightly after the ball. So try that, give that a try, but if you're not, if that's not one of the, the, the biggest worries for you, another thing is what causes a block is too much weight shift, so such too much of a weight shift on the backswing, so the weight goes on the outside without the foot, you make contact way back here, your body's falling back to the and you can't keep still over the golf ball, so what happens is people, when they get over the golf ball, are very anxious, so what tends to happen is they, um, swing swing their lower body and don't swing their arms enough so they use their, their lower body more than their arms so they don't swing their arms enough effectively which creates inconsistent strikes so what you need to what you need to feel like you're doing instead of swinging your arms rotate so feel like you're you're turning so feel like this right shoulder is tucked behind or feel like this left shoulder sorry goes over to the, the right shoulder and feel like you're Feeling that weight on the, the on your right quadricep. That's that's a couple of things to work on. Then the other thing I'm going to talk about is grip control. So what I mean by grip control is the position on, positioning of your hands on the grip. So the shorter the shot, I tend to grip down it a little bit. This. So if I what a lot of folk tend to do is they grip too far up it when they've got a short shot and that loses control. You they don't understand uh, how hard to hit it or. They can't feel how hard they've got to hit it. So grip down it a little bit. What this will do, it'll lengthen your swing at, so you won't be feeling it, you won't be swinging at it at full maximum, and it will give you more more control, so less club head speed and more control. So the shorter the shot you have, the more you want to go down the handle. So the longer the shot, the more you want to grip up it, because you're going to create more, more momentum through the golf ball, so you want to grip down it when you've got a short shot. Um, because you're gripping down that, that 
that doesn't allow you to make a full shoulder turn or a full, full weight transfer. So this will, so that's when the setter becomes key to hitting the ball consistently. So get down it and just go back and through. That's a bit heavy there. So that's the third point. The fourth point we're going to talk about is when, when to hit the correct shot, so a chip or a pitch. Um, what tends to happen is a chip becomes a pitch 35, 35 yards from the green and 25 if you're a, a le if you're a woman. So women don't hit the ball as, as far as men, so that's why it's a little bit shorter. Um, but what what I think like to think about is probably I, str I, str I I've struggled a lot in the past with trusting my my pitching and chipping technique. But what you need to do is you need to go to the range, find a distance that's good for you, something you can rely on, and then take it out in the golf course. So I think I think the average person doesn't know, or the average golfer, sorry, doesn't know when to hit the correct shot. So people more often than not will hit a pitch shot instead of a, a chip shot or a full full wedge shot. So a, a pitch shot is when the ball has maximum air time and minimum roll time. A chip shot is when it's got maximum roll time and minimum air time. So that's something to work with. The other thing we want to talk about is um, the clock face drill. So the last point we want to talk about um, is clock face drill. So um, this will establish your correct distances. So good, the correct distance control is key for good, good chipping and pitching. So what tends to happen is I've got I've got three wedges in my golf bag. So the first time the first thing I done when I got my new wedges is went straight to the range and worked out my my 50% shot, my 75% shot, and my my 100% shot. So what to do is use three methods. So I've got my fifth degrees wedge here. So what you want to do is think about the clock face drill. So what I mean by that is when I take the club back and I've got a half shot. So I hit my 50 degrees wedge about 110 yards. So my fifth, my half shot is round about 55 yards. So what, to allow me to hit this shot, I relate to the clock face drill. So I go back to nine o'clock and then swing through to three o'clock. That gives me three different distances with three different clubs. So halfway back and then the second one I'm going to go to is two, 10 o'clock, then two o'clock. So that's my, that's my, that's probably my 85 yard shot, 80 to 85 yard shot, and my 100% shot is kind of uh, 11 o'clock to 1 o'clock. So that just that goes about on average 105 to 110 yards. Give that a try, and that should allow you to hit the correct shot. So we've covered a multitude of things there. So give take each point out from the video or try each point out the next time you're at the range so say if you're working over the next five days on your your pitching or the next five weeks sorry after Christmas work on one thing so set up then the next time you go to the range work on your technique so your length of swing not quitting on the golf ball third thing grip control fourth thing going to uh, the correct uh, club to hit or the correct shot pitching chipping full shot and work on the clock face method. If that's helpful to you, um, give it a try and thank you for tuning in.